Happy Wednesday, everyone. I hope your morning is good. It is going to be a beautiful day here in Colorado, and it's going to be uh, almost 90, but without humidity, it is gorgeous. This morning, I want to share with you before five in a row, it is a play based classical children's literature. Um, and it is for ages two to four. And I have a preschooler who is four, so this is what we will be using. So I will be back to share with you all the information on this great, wonderful book. Okay, we are back to get started. Um, the first thing that I want to share with you is a lot of people address this as a curriculum. And that's one thing in the book it says this is not a curriculum. It's play-based and it's also based off children's classical um, literature. So it's not a curriculum. It's a learning and it's through play that they will learn and beautiful books so that they can become creative. And the books that they have chosen are absolutely beautiful books. So let's get started. Let's go ahead. Um, first, before I open this up, um, Before Five in a Row is, a, of course, the book that comes before five in a row. And then there's After Five in a Row. I don't know if you're familiar with those. But this one is for age two to four. My son is four. So we are going to be using this and reading some amazing books and playing and just discovering the world around us. So let's go ahead and open this up. The table of contents has two parts. It has part one, which is before five in a row stories and activities. And then part two is a parent's treasury of creative ideas for learning readiness and it has activities for reading readiness it's talking and listening it has um, coordination development of large motor skills and small motor skills activities at bath time in the kitchen at the store toys the art the arts the visual arts the literal arts and the performing arts learning to see through children's eyes how important is that, <clears throat> excuse me, that we focus on that? What do they see? What do they hear? And their little ears are so tender and their minds and their hearts are so ready to receive things. And we want to make sure how we present them to them, that it's joy and happiness. So we have to be careful in what we expose our little ones to. It also has books to help you understand in the end um, it has a master index in the back and it's um, a, and there's also other books about five in a row that are listed and about their products that they have and then there's some order forms back there so that's in the table of contents um, so making the most of five in a row what delights a young child there are many things, but for most children, having someone read to him a book is near the top of the list. So that we want to remember. You know, and the stories included in this volume are wonderful stories for early childhood because many of them are classics and because they are good. You, along with older children, may find yourself appreciating them too. But this series of little lessons was created especially to bring joy and excitement to children ages 2 through 4. The point is not so much to instruct or teach as it is to have a happy introduction to books. To provide an interesting light introducing to many different topics. And to build intimacy between the reader and and the child that's so important snuggling up with your little ones and just sharing with them special moments and times of learning and discovering the topic subjects headings are only 
to suggest in what areas these activities might lay a foundation for academic subjects to be entered and encountered by your child in later grades. So, you know, it's just important. This is set for ages two to four, so we want to remember that. And, um, you know, it just goes through and it shares other information above all. Times between ages two and four should be a time of sharing, hugging, reading, singing, dancing, puzzles, blocks, outdoor play, swinging high, playing in a sandbox, and enjoying fascination, introductions to the world, the wonderful world of life. So it's just got so many great things for children to experience and just how important it is how life is introduced to them and what they see around them and what their little ears hear. So the first book they list is Just Bear, What Will You Wear? And I am excited about this. It gives you a little summary. It says Just Bear is excited about his clothing for the day and iris irresistible drawers and reader right into the experience. A delightful, rousing romp in rhyme. It goes through the Bible it talks about a cheerful heart makes good medicine. And it shares some other scripture. It covers language arts. It covers loving relationships. It also takes them through colors and patterns and combinations. Fine art and drama. Literature. Poetry and art. I love that because poetry is so important at poetry tea time. And just the art, we're doing Charlotte Mason and we're doing our picture studies. And this is so important for my little one. Can you find, there are searches in here to look for, recognizing patterns and things of order. You're also going to do games. You're going to talk about details, things that they remember. When you read to them, what are the details they remember? There's going to be some science for them to do. There's going to be some shapes for them to learn. So in the first book, Just Bear, Just Bear, What Will You Wear? Let's take a look at that book. Let's kind of go through the book. My son is going to love this. Like I said, he is loving to pick out his own clothes and to get himself dressed and to be independent. So this book is such a great beginning book. Just a great place to start. And it is got some beautiful illustrations in here. It kind of goes through. He's in his jammies. He's waking up. How we want to just bear what will you wear? What will you wear in the morning? So they're talking. What do you want to choose? Talking about times of day, it starts teaching them about time recognition. My shirt of red pulled over my head, over my head in the morning. So he's talking about colors here. I'll wear my pants, my pants that dance, my pants that dance in the morning. He's talking about movement and the joy he has. I will wear a rose between my toes, a rose in my toes in the morning. So he's talking about his different body parts. And I love that. They just go through. I will wear the sun on my legs that run. Sun on the run in the morning. And just rhyming words. And it just continues to go through. I will wear the sand on my arm and hand. Sand on my hand in the morning. Continuing to remind them of the time of day their body parts, teaches them about brushing their teeth, about what they're going to wear, what they're going to eat. What do they see when they're sitting at a table? Well, I will wear my chair because I'm stuck in there, stuck in the chair in the room. And then it goes through, I will wear carrots and peas and a little more, please. And it talks about the different healthy foods that they can eat, things they see. It talks about daddy greeting them and the love of a father and how he takes time and what he's wearing at nighttime. So the time changes and it just goes through bath time, brushing our teeth. It goes through nighttime. It goes through what does he see in his room? What is it that he discovers? He gets big hugs. And what does he see when he looks around? He sees an astronaut in a lamp. 
he sees his bookshelf and his dinosaur and horsey. Sleep in my eyes and stars in the skies, moon on my bed and dreams in my head. That's what I'll wear tonight. Just a beautiful book. So, of course, I skipped some of the parts of the book, but a great book and just so many things to learn. It talked about the shapes of what, how many chickens he saw in the kitchen and what all he discovered along the way. So that is the first book that we are going to start with. Uh, another book is called The Red Carpet. Jenny's Surprise Summer. The Carrot Seed. Ask Me, Mr. Bear. Prayer for a Child. Corduroy. Play with Me. The Little Rabbit. Blueberries for Sal. The Snowy Day. Excited for this. This should be about the time it will be snowing that we will read this. Augustus Lost. Anagust Lost. Sorry. The Little Rabbit. If Jesus came to my home. Oh my. I've often thought of that. If he stepped inside my home, would he find joy? Would he be happy? And would he find us doing the things we should be doing? I am an artist. Caps for sale. Good night, moon. The big green pocketbook. That looks fun and exciting. I'm happy uh, that we're going to be reading this. I'm excited to find what does she have in that green pocketbook. The Runaway Bunny. The Yellow Ball. The Quiet Way Home. Beautiful story. I had to peek inside of this one. Katie No Pocket. We're going on a bear hunt. I love that. We used to sing that song all the time. And this book is great. Read this one. The ABC Bunny. And the last one that we'll be reading. I don't have these in the exact order. But the last book I have to share is My Blue Boat. I don't know if you've shared in reading this or not. But it's a 20th anniversary edition, and it is beautiful. Let's just take a peek inside. Look at all the boats, happy sailboats sailing along. And it just goes through, and it just has some beautiful illustrations in here. I'll dance with the whales across the wide ocean. Just beautiful books for children, young children. So those are the books that are covered in this wonderful curriculum. I am very, very excited to start this with my son. We will be starting this in August. Oops, sorry, just trying to gather this back. So I hope you've enjoyed finding out more about this literature-based learning before five in a row. And if you have enjoyed it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe. I will be sharing more books, literature-based collaborations, just so many things to share with you. Um, also, if you would like, hit subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I have new videos up. Thank you so much for dropping in. And the scripture I want to share with you today is found in Matthew 5, 8. It says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Have a wonderful, beautiful, sunny day. Bye-bye.